I'm Charlie Barons, and this is a story about the time I Dick Cheney'd my family's minivan. I shit you not. So here's the deal, I was 22, I just graduated from college and I had just gotten my first job as a production assistant in Los Angeles. I was about to show the world how my double major in journalism and environmental geography, excuse the flex, would prepare me to prepare not one, not two, but five decanters of coffee every day. Now here's the deal, because I was moving out to LA, I was also hunting for a car, but not like this, not like this. My brother Andy knew I was hunting for a car and would you know it, at that moment, he had his little brother's best intentions in mind. I'm one of 12 kids, I'm mass produced, okay? We did not have luxury vehicles like this one. And when my dad rolled up in that driveway in 2005 with that certified pre-owned Dodge Grand Caravan SXT, that stands for Sexy XT. It's the Cadillac of minivans. We were just floored. This minivan had everything. It had a CD player. It had bucket seats. It had felt. Yes, felt. The only thing it was missing was wood paneling. I mean, this thing was so slick and we were about to take it out on this hunting trip. This was like the last pheasant hunt in Wisconsin with my dad, my brother Andy, my brother Billy, our dog Murphy, before I was gonna go out west and become a real movie star. I don't know if you've ever done any Wisconsin pheasant hunting, but here's how it goes. Three guys walking through a cornfield going, oh, hey dear, you guys see any pheasants? No, no pheasants here. Where's the dog? Murphy. Murphy, Murphy's up over there looking for pheasants and then he points to one. But Murphy's kind of a dumb dog, so he'll do the pointing thing even after he hears a shotgun go off. He's an English setter, and the thing about English setters is they're all inbred. So he was out there running, kicking pheasants up, and we were like, oh shoot, Murph, come on now. For the love of criminy. In Wisconsin, if you say for the love of criminy, I mean, you mean serious business, okay? Those are the Wisconsin swear words right there. For the love of criminy, uh, geez Louise, holy smokes, gosh darn it. Now, if someone says holy smokes, gosh darn it, you are in trouble. Okay, so we go hunting. Pheasants by the way, are like the sirloin of the sky. So this was a big thing for my family. I mean, one of 12, this is how we eat. We shoot three to four pheasants, seven to eight if you ask my dad, but we all do what you do after you finish hunting. You unload your guns, okay? Everybody put the guns in the case, and before we put the guns in the case, everybody unloaded their guns and put the safety on. And by everybody, I mean everybody except for Andy, who locked and loaded his shotgun, and then he put it in the case. Welcome to the PSA portion of the show. This is why you don't paint your child's nursery with lead paint. We're driving home with a loaded shotgun pointing us. I, 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 we were one pothole away from me telling this story to St. Peter. Uh, hey there, St. Peter, how you doing? Uh, so Andy did this, it wasn't me. I hope he's in hell right now. No, I'm the only one that died, Some of a gun. Okay, we get home and my dad's like, okay, I took you pheasant hunting, go clean out the car. Andy takes the birds, Billy takes the hunting stuff, I pull out the shotguns, all four of them at once. And then boom, I was like, what the? The shotgun went off, okay? I mean, there was calamity everywhere. I was like shaking and I look, it's Andy's gun case, which is the thing blown off the top. Murphy runs around and he starts pointing at the front seat. I was like, damn it, Murphy, jeez Louise. And Murphy just gets up into the shotgun seat, which now is literally a shotgun seat. And he's like, oh. And he, he looks at me with his long snout, goes which in dog terms is code for, you are so fucked. Now my dad's a big gun safety guy, so this was the wrong thing to happen at that time. My dad comes running out, he's like, what the hell happened? Now remember when I told you about like the anger of Wisconsin language, like if you say jeepers cripes, I mean, you're feeling it, but if you get out there and you say, what the hell happened? I mean, oh my gosh. And I, I'm trying to be like, uh, Andy did it, except, I was literally holding a smoking gun. So that, that didn't work out. My dad was furious. And he's like, uh-uh. Now, I thought my dad was gonna kill me. He did not kill me, praise the Lord, but he did decide to murder my bank account. He was like, you're buying the Dodge Grand Caravan SXT. I was like, me? He's like, yeah. And you're gonna buy it at the Kelly Blue Book level of excellent. I was like, Dad, it's not excellent. Well, there's no place on Kelly Blue Book to put has minor shotgun blast holes on interior. Kelly Blue Book should really update their system. Fantastic, I just bought a car. And on this day in 2009, my father instituted the Andy rule when hunting. Every hunter shall check the other hunter's gun twice, except if that hunter is Andy. He's not checking shit. 
So I, after I bought the van from my dad, I drove out to LA and I began my work as a production assistant. Now here's the deal, most production assistants spend years getting coffee, but me, I had a minivan. And the producer at this company saw that minivan. He didn't ask if there were shotgun blasts in it or anything. He was like, you're promoted to set PA. I don't wanna pay for a production truck. So he just had me in my shotgun minivan take all the camera equipment. And that got me on this, into so many cool things in LA. Like I got to meet Tom Hanks, his personal assistant. I got to smell the pot smoke inside Kevin Smith's Hollywood mansion. And on one shoot with Russell Crowe, he left his sneakers inside the trailer. Now, if you think I returned those sneakers to Russell Crowe, you got another thing coming. I wore them till there were more holes in those sneakers than there were in my minivan. So the moral of this story is, if you have an opportunity to shoot your dad's minivan, pull the trigger. And maybe one day you too will be putting holes in Russell Crowe's sneakers.